What is it, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Really excited to get into it today. I believe this is episode 92, if I'm not mistaken here. But we got some cool fix-ups ready to go, man. I love WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. I also wanted to just shout out everybody or give appreciation to everybody that checked out the room tour that we posted yesterday. If you guys missed it, you have an hour, you know, you just want to chill out, hang out, check out some figures, and check out the room, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you'll go over to that video, leave a like, comment something you like in the room or just anything like that, man. I appreciate everybody that checked it out and gave the collection a compliment and everything like that, man. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best, man. But today we do have action figure surgery that I'm excited about. We got a lot of stuff going on here and we're going to dive into it, man. With that being said, also there's a fix up or a custom here that I don't have fleshed out completely that I really want to do that I'm excited for and we'll have to get into that, I guess. But I'm, I'm really hyped for it. I don't know when I'll be able to get it completed per se, but we have some cool stuff nonetheless. So let's shut the hell up and get into it. All right, man. So we always start off with the guy on the stretcher. Now, we do have this elite Ilya Dragunov right here, and this is actually a very good figure. It poses around really, really well, and today, I actually am uh, picking a, a few of these up in trades, or at least one of them, I know for sure, because I have an idea for a fix-up, and I want you guys to stay with me here, and I don't know how it's going to turn out, but today, man, we're going to be using this as a base for a different guy, a different figure, man. If you guys look over here, we do have this old custom elite Tyler Bate figure. And today, we're going to be kind of morphing these together, man. I think this is a really good base for Tyler Bate. I know that Tyler Bate, I think, is, what, 5'7 or something like that? And Dragunov is 5'10, but look at these heights right here, man. I mean, my custom's already towering over it, so it'll make him a little bit shorter. And I feel like this could easily pass for a short guy, especially compared to these figures back here. This Ilya is pretty damn short compared to the rest of these, so I'm not going to have any issues there, man. We're going to be putting this head sculpt over here. We're also going to be switching the lower legs. And the reason we're switching the lower legs, I think these are the exact same lower legs. The reason we're switching the lower legs is because I want the socks on there because Tyler Bate does wear the socks. And I don't know if I want to wear the black and white here. I like the black and white short boots from the Bob Backlund. But I also have these boots from Chad Gable that I think would really like set it over the top. You got the white boots with the red tips. I'm going to go with the Chad Gable boots on the Dragunov body. And we're just going to take a look at this. I think it's going to turn out pretty badass. Now, if I had an extra white sleeve, I don't like to give out my white sleeves. I like to keep those for like Uso fix-ups or different guys. But if I had an extra white sleeve, I would probably put it over the tattoo because I don't have the tattoos, right? There's no tattoos on this Dragunov for Tyler Bate. However, if we had one of those white sleeves, you could put the white sleeve on there because he wears the white sleeve and it would fi fi fix it all. But you know, like, you get what I'm saying. We're going to make a Tyler Bate fix up customly. I think it's going to look pretty damn good. Next up, we have this Jericho here. Now, I have ideas for the Jericho and I know he looks a bit weird right now. He looks like, I don't even know, it looks like a damn I don't even know, man. Look at that neck. Without the necklace on there, it kind of looks crazy. But I really like these jogger legs and I don't know who to use them on. I thought about Roman Reigns because I think that it would probably fit. You'd probably have to put some Mod Podger in there on the on the, on the the peg or something to make it really work because I took my Elite 107 Finn Balor and tried to put the CM Punk legs on there from the ringside exclusive. You know, like the, the ice cream pop ringside exclusive or whatever the hell. And I tried to put these legs on the Finn Balor. I mean, dude, there's no tightness at all. It was like his damn legs were a swing at the playground. It was not working whatsoever. So that was something. It fixed his height and it looked really good. It's just it would not work in terms of standing there. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pointless. And there's probably a way around that. I just didn't have time to really fix it up. So sometimes if I only have an idea for a customer or a fix-up and it's only one thing and I don't want to wait for surgery, I'll just go ahead and at least try it. But I didn't want to wait on that one, so I tried it. It didn't work. I failed, and that's what I get for not including it on surgery. But I want to think of something for the Chris Jericho, and I think a Roman Reigns would be cool. I, th I don't know. There's something that I want to do there, but I haven't completely figured it out. But I did want to talk about that a little bit here on surgery before we dive into it. Next up, we do have a Kenny Omega here. This is the GameStop exclusive Kenny Omega. I'm going to be head swapping this and putting a jacket on it and kind of turning it into a cleaner style Omega. And we'll show the case that. I have a head sculpt down here I want to put on there. We'll get into all those different things. But a huge shout out. I think it's Legendary Figs. I think I saw this on their collection or something like that on Instagram. But it looked really clean. I, I was inspired by it. So I wanted to take an extra of my GameStop exclusive Omegas and turn that into that custom. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, we do have Seth Rollins. We have a few Seth Rollins in here. I think this is going to be nice. We have the Invisibility Cloak Rollins right here, which I found on a toy hunt. And then we also have this Elite 93 Rollins. And you could probably already see the head sculpt or the head swap coming. However, I didn't want to use my Ultimate Edition, so I do have an extra Elite 99 Rollins over here. So I think we're going to do the trifecta like we like to do, a little triple head swap right here. And I think this head sculpt to here, this head sculpt to here, and this head 
head sculpt to here is what I'm thinking. So we'll see about that. I liked the smiling head sculpt, the Elite 93 on here, better than the Elite 86 version because I just think the era fits better. So even though this head sculpt's a little bit big, we'll see how it fits on the body. We'll just play things by ear, but I think that's going to work out nicely for the Seth Rollins fix-ups. We also have our, uh, let's go ahead and get this Jimmy Uso right here. I have an extra Jimmy Uso with the good head sculpt on there. And then I have this fix-up Jimmy Uso. So see, this is why I like to save sleeves and stuff, man, for Uso figures and different guys because this looks really, really clean over here. And this head sculpt's not bad, but it's not Jimmy. This is Jimmy. And so we're going to be putting, the, we're going to do a head swap, put the hat on there. It's going to look really, really clean. I have plenty of Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso figures we can make here. So we'll just have to play all those things by ear, man. But next up, we do have this Trash Corbin Basic. Now, I have another one of these, and I don't know who I want to put in the other suit, but I damn sure know I don't want a suited Corbin. You know what I'm saying? No offense there, Brad. Or all the offense. I don't really care. We're going to be making a Batista in suit, man. Look at that right there. I'm putting that right there. Putting the hands in there. I did get some, like, darker hands or, like, some better fitting hands that we'll see if that looks better there. So, we're going to be making, like, a Ruthless Aggression suited Batista figure out of the Trash Corbin. And last but not least, huge shout out to my man Elite Wrestling Figs for this right here, man. We're going to be putting the lower legs of this CM Punk onto this Elite 82 Finn Balor. And it makes a really unique look that I think is going to be awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but you guys will see it at the end. You're probably thinking to yourself, that's going to look weird as hell. Just trust me, bro. Just trust me. You see how thick and long the, the Finn Balor kick pads are? I'm telling you, when you put, when you swap these over here, it looks a lot more like a, like Finn Balor. It looks a lot more realistic. It's kind of crazy. But I want to do that just to kind of test it. But then, down the line, I do want to switch the arms as well. Like, this is only single jointed arms. I, man, I really, it stinks now because he's in the jogger mold and they make him so damn short. Now it's going to be, like, we're going to have to get creative to make Finn Balor and some double jointed arms and, you know, tights, like short wrestling tights like this. Hopefully he'll go back to that someday. But I'm also going to be putting these open black knee pads on there. I might leave these on here, but I think these will allow for better articulation, the open knee pad style. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into the surgery that we're going to be performing here today. And I'm sacrificing a Walmart exclusive CM Punk because I had a few extras. So I figured, you know, what better way to use it than that? And also the Supreme is pinless and you can't do that. You can't switch that if it's pinless. So yeah, ruined my life. All right, man, let's get into it. Starting out first, I guess we will do the simplicity first and then we will get into the more complex things that we like to do. So starting out first, we do have our Kenny Omega here. Now this GameStop exclusive figure, I mean, oh man, I don't know if it's going to bother me that this logo is on the back, even though I have a plan for that. And I, you're not going to see the back, and I'll explain that in a moment here. But nonetheless, man, the head sculpt that we're going to be replacing it with is this Supreme Collection one. This is one of the extra Supremes, and I put some sunglasses on there. So now, I can pop this off. And then plop this on here, just like so. Look at that right there. And so now, when you put that on there, it might sit a little high. It's not terrible. And again, I could swap the torso if it's going to be that big of an issue. But I don't even know if the torsos have different neck pegs and whatnot. But we're going to be putting this sting jacket on here. I think this is the Defining Moment sting jacket. I'm sure there's probably another jacket I could have used. But I had an extra one. So I don't know. We'll look at that at the end. Did the win right now in Tuscaloosa is absolutely nutty. Nick Saban retired, and ha most of you probably don't even know who the hell that is, but I'm a football coach myself. I'm a massive football fan and just connoisseur of the sport and love just the intricate details. And it's been a sad day as an Alabama fan this this past few days. And we're looking for the, our next coach, and it's probably going to be hired today. So it could be announced during the the making of this video, so we'll see about that. Next up, we do have the Usos. And or I say the Usos. I mean, technically, this is the Usos because we have Jay over here, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. The head sculpt. It's not that freaking egregious, is it? Is it that bad? Um, we're gonna be taking that off, and honestly, like, I know I have the Ultimate Edition, I have the, uh, I think I have, is this my, dude, I think this is like my third Elite 106 Jimmy, and the figure just came out, get help, but plopping that head sculpt over the dude, that's, oh, son, that looks like a, <whistles> that ain't bad right there, and then take the Usos hat, put that on there. I and mean, you could even put it on backwards too. Wouldn't offend me none. The hat on backwards right here. Uh, I'm going to go frontwards. Forget about it. We'll look at it at the end. Dude, some of the best fix-ups are the simplistic ones, man. They're the ones that you don't really think about. And then, bam, they hit you right in the titties. So we have this. And we're just going to plop this on here. And nobody cares, but... You know, we'll still look at him. Oh my god, dude, I am starving. It is 10 a.m. and I am starving. 
All right, man, next order of business is our Trash Corbin in the suit right here. And I can't remember. I saw somebody else do this, and I thought, man, that looks fantastic. But they posed it with, like, the SmackDown contract, and it just looked awesome. Or, the, like, the Raw and SmackDown contract. And I don't think this head sculpt just pops off, unfortunately. What a bum. So we are going to have to heat that up. Now, this head sculpt just pops on there. And uh, so we do have to heat up this Trash Corbin head sculpt. But I'm trying to think what else we can heat up at the same time. So what else can we heat up? I guess the lower legs of the Dragonov, and maybe even the lower legs of the Finn Balor. But what if I can't heat all that up? That's going to really sicken me if I can't do so. So we need to heat up the Elia Dragonov legs. We need to heat up the Trash Corbin head sculpt. We have to heat up the other legs of the Tyler Bate, I do believe. And he doesn't have knee pad. He never wears knee pads, so that works out well. Heat all that up, and then also heat up the Chad Gable, actually. I don't know, should I heat these up too? You know what, we're going to, uh... If I leave these room temp or whatever the hell, and I have these all gooey, they should just mash down in there. So I'm not not going to heat up the boots per se. Seth Rollins I don't need to heat up. I don't know if we need to heat up the Finn Balor legs right this juncture. It just doesn't make sense. But we may be able to swap them all at once. We'll have to see. You know what? We're going to heat it up like this. And then we'll come back to Finn Balor. And I typically don't like to... I like to do as less as of heat interactions as possible. But here we are. All right, Brad, let's see. Hopefully this will be enough. We haven't, I feel like it's been a minute since we did a lower leg swap, to be honest with you. And again, we're putting these lower legs over here because they have the white socks on there. Oh, dude, this isn't even close to the choreography. Jesus in heaven, why is that not hot enough? That pisses me off. I think it's because it wasn't real close to the hair dryer. Oh my God in heaven, I hate when this happens, man. Oh, I feel like I haven't raged in a minute, too, which is better for my mental health. Oh, my God, that made me ill. All right, so, oh, my God, this one isn't heated up enough either. Dude, this is why people check into insane asylums. Why is that not hot enough? Okay, we'll come back to this, and we'll just swap this head. How about that? They didn't put his tattoos on his chest right there, which I'm glad, but, you know. Uh, we're going to put the Batista head sculpt on here. All right, and the hands don't even pop out. Why do the hands not pop out? I know interchangeable hands are basic norms now. Oh, Christ. You know what? Dude, the wind is howling right now. Okay, we're going to heat that up. And we're going to heat this up. And we're going to heat this up. And I'm not going to heat this up because then it'll be stiff, like I said, and you can just go smam. And I believe that Tyler Bate head sculpt, I feel like I made that interchangeable. We'll see about that, but... You know what? We are gonna we are gonna do the Finn Balor now. You know what? Because it pissed me off. So now we we are going to do so. We're gonna Jay and Jimmy to do so. My God, they know how to make me ill. Is this good enough for you, Brad? Huh? Right. <sighs> Nonetheless, you may want to put the punk up there, you idiot, dumb moron, idiot. There. Is that good enough heat for you? I'm so petty. I'd leave them here all day and burn the house down. All right. That's hot. But now we're going to get this and delicately. I'm about to retire the white trusty hairdryer if he can't get the damn job done. All right. We do need to get this on in a decently timely fashion because if we don't, the lower legs of the Finn Balor and the CM Punk are going to get, you know, rough again and then I'm going to have to lose my mind again. We don't want that. Or you might, but for my own good mental health. Come on, pig. Come on, man. Come on. All right, we got that. Now, popping these boots off. I actually like the Bob Backlund boots a whole lot, to be honest with you. But they they just... Oh, my. Oh, my God. I remember the short boot issue. God, <laughs> man. Ah! Now I realize. The boot probably needs to be... You can't shove something soft into the hole. We're going to have to heat the boots up. Oh, man. we have. I feel like we have... It's been, things have been smooth sailing, man. We've had so many... The, the streak was elite. We're going to have to heat those boots up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop off these lower legs like that. If you're going to do this swap, I recommend you keeping the Finn Balor pegs because they're a little longer than the Punk pegs. So that way the full thing will go through instead of using those shorter CM Punk ones. It's just my recommendation because you're keeping the Finn Balor knees, right? So if you're keeping the Finn Balor knees and you put the, you know, AEW Jazz wears lower legs like this, like the Sammy Guevara style or the CM Punk style onto a Mattel figure, 
if you leave the if you leave the Mattel pegs in there, it'll be a lot smoother, I imagine. We're also going to be putting up on these open knee pads. Don't forget that. It's not Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate's the one without the knee pads, Brad. Don't forget. Sliding that up. It's just a really good aesthetic, I'm telling you. It looks really good for Finn Balor, at least to me personally. You guys can let me know what you think of this down in the comment section below when we are completed here. But we got to get this onto here and... Hopefully it won't be too, too bad. Yeah, there it goes. I feel like that's so much easier than Mattel's. For whatever reason, that's the case. Um, and then we got to get our other knee pad on here. And then we will, of course, once we pop this on, we will look at him at the end. And then I'm going to try and get the Batista hands off there. Hopefully. Lord in heaven at the aggression. I guess I could use this time to ask if anybody's going to the Royal Rumble. If you're going to the Royal Rumble, man, I will be at the Royal Rumble. So I'm going to be going down to Tampa. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Should be a fun one. Buckle the hell up, Brad. Going to make, I guess, the Royal Rumble a yearly tradition if I can do so. And hopefully I can Jay and Jimmy to do so. I did not expect to make that reference slash dumb joke twice in one video. So our next bit of business is going to be getting these hands. Watch, these hands ain't even going to come out now. Alright, I actually got the one hand out. Okay, I got them both out. That's good. Okay, now we can pop in the interchangeable Batista hands, I guess. Are these the Batista hands? Oh, his head fell off. Okay, that actually went in there really smoothly, though, so that's good. Wow, that was, Lord in heaven, that was way too easy. Nonetheless, we'll take a look at that at the end. Alright, man, so what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Gotta get our Seth Rollins done, and then we also need to get... Our boots heated up. Now, I'm pretty sure this head sculpt just pops off. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Now, I'm afraid that the neck on this... Now, this... I got this from my buddy Cody or Steinsenberg Customs. I'm pretty sure this is like a Billy Gun R3 Jack's head, but it looks just like Tyler Bate, which is scary. But we're going to take this off and put this onto here. Jesus Christ. It kind of has a giraffe neck, but the last one had kind of a giraffe neck, too. I'm trying to think here. I think the only way you could, like... Really get rid of that as if you snapped that off or uh, I mean you could crack the torso sw Switch the neck peg and then if you had a shorter neck peg This would sit lower and it would probably sit like right there Which would be the money, but I'm thinking if I snap that if I just take this off completely and then just plop the head on there You know just like shove that neck inside of that peg hole. It would probably sit low enough. I don't know man I'm getting very I'm Oh, my lord. Just heaven, Atlanta. Head definitely sits too high, though. That pisses me off. What we're going to do, we're going to get our Seth Rollins heads in here. Now, I, I, I pray, I'll, you guys will see the Tyler Bate with these on there at the end of the video. We're just going to heat those boots up and throw them on there. However, the Seth Rollins, this should be easy. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure all three of these don't need any heat whatsoever, which is immaculate. It really is, but uh, yeah, we're going to take that off, that off, pop that off. This is going to go to the Elite 93 over here. Take a look at him at the end. Then we have this. We're going to plug, good God, at the neck peg on this Seth Rollins. That's going to look awful. What is this? What is that? Why? Wh how deep is this head sculpt? Oh... I have no word. Why in God's name would that head sculpt have the longest neck peg to ever exist? I don't know if this is even going to work now. Well, the basic goes on the Elite, which I guess we'll take a look at here in a second. But I need a head sculpt for this. But the, I don't think there's a guy... There is no ponytail or man bun head sculpt, to my knowledge, that is going to be able to fill that gap right there. Look at that! Let's take a look at everything we did today. If Did we even do anything? So here's everything that we did on Action Figure Surgery, man. I, I want to start this part off by, I don't know, I, I felt like the more I sat here thinking, I was like, damn, did I just yell into the camera for 20 minutes? I do apologize if I, you know, maybe the, the graveling and the anger and the issues got a little annoying. I do apologize for that. But I don't know, man, that just frustrates the hell of me when you have this idea and you think it's going to come together and then it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife talk about this all the time. You know when you just have like kind of a, you know, like maybe your day wasn't the best and you go, I don't know, like maybe you don't have time or you haven't cooked or whatever and you're just like, I'm just going to swing through the drive-thru. I'm really craving like some Chick-fil-A sauce or, you know, I really want like the Polynesian or you want, you know, the sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's or whatever and you're like, damn, I can't wait to just dip my chicken McNuggets into this sauce and you get home and it's already been a just a rough day, whatever, and then you unbag everything, and then they don't include your sauce, or they put onions on your burger, or whatever you didn't want, and it's just like, that's the thing that flips the lid, like, that's the last straw, and you just flip the hell out, or it's just that earth-shattering moment that just, you know what I'm saying, sets you off, but yeah, nonetheless, man. 
Here's a look at everything we worked on today, man. We have a couple Usos right here. I really love this new Jimmy Uso. Jesus, just take out the camera, why don't you? But I love this right here. This looks immaculate. I thought about putting the red shoes on there, but I feel like the white is very clean. So I don't know. You guys can let me know. White shoes or red? I feel like you could go either way there. But I really enjoy both Jimmy Usos right here, even though, you know, this is just the Elite 106 or what have you. This just is so much better. It stands firm. The legs are better. They can move. These super stiff garbage fall flat on its face. This is much better in my opinion. Next up, we got some Seth Rollins. I couldn't do nothing with Invisibility Cloak, man. I couldn't do nothing with the Invisibility Cloak. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, I guess I could put this head sculpt back on there just so I'll have a figure with the damn head on there. I don't know, man. I can, like This peg's so long, there's not a lot of head sculpts you can really put on there. It's literally these two options. And I don't know, I might buy another one. But I do like the Elite 99 fix-up with the jacket and the blonde hair. Even though the hair's not painted the best, I do like these fix-ups. But yeah, that was kind of just a cheese. It just, I mean, it's been a day, hasn't it? Next up, we do have our Kenny Omega cleaner right here. And I don't know, the jacket, the jacket doesn't like, isn't as form-fitting. I may need to get a different jacket made or something like that i just i don't i don't know i don't like this flippy thing here but i don't know maybe it would look better posed off instead of just chilling right here but i do like this head sculpt with the glasses and i may replace the sunglasses with some different sunglasses but i like this pink gear and everything like that it feels good in hand everything so yeah i like this little fix up cleaner kenny omega maybe put the broomstick with him then we have our tyler bait right here and the tyler bait figure man this neck just makes me sick look at the giraffe neck everything else looks so good man if this head was lower it would look really really good so i don't i don't know what to do here so we'll have to see about that but i don't know i like everything about it except for the long neck and i don't know if i can replace the peg or whatever whatever we'll i guess we'll cross the bridge when we come to it um you know we're at the bridge brad you gotta make a decision but you know i'll, I'll decide on that in the future i guess no time to really discuss it here today might play around with it, but we will, I guess, revisit this project. But I don't know. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We also have our suited Ruthless Aggression Batista. This is really clean, man. I really like this, especially for a display. If you had, like, an all-nice Batista display, I am going to stick mine on my spice rack over there. There's a couple spots left for Batista. I'm going to stick this over there. I think this is a really clean Ruthless Aggression Batista. And, you know, you can sit up there and give you the thumbs up and then power bomb you through a damn table. And then we also have the Finn Balor, man. And I really like this. I, I just like this a lot, man. I like how skinny the kick pads are. I like how the... I don't know. This just looks so damn clean, man. A huge shout out to Elite Wrestling Figs here, man. This is just a really cool figure. I like the way this looks. I do want double jointed arms on there, but if you want a poseable Finn Balor, and it's very, like, dude, he can pose around. It's not loose. It feels good. It stands up. You're not going to have any issues whatsoever with that. And, I mean, arguably, and look, you even get shin cut there instead of the top of the boot cut. So this looks good. I, I like this a lot. The Finn Balor looks good, and that, that I like it. I like it a lot. I'd like to do that to a lot of Finn Balors. But nonetheless, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our action figure surgery day. But I appreciate it, man. That is pretty much going to wrap up action figure surgery for today, man. Slowly approaching episode 100. If anybody has any cool ideas for episode 100, you can send me a message I would, or comment down below. I would love to know if, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking, mulling it over. I have a couple ideas, but nothing concrete just yet. But we shall find out, man. But that is going to wrap up the action figure surgery. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate every single one of those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on into 2024. But that is going to wrap it up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. Go check out the room tour, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>